Hello friends, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on UFT. And of course, we are with uh, understanding on UFT before we have learned about uh, the comparison tool in the just previous tutorial of this series. Now we'll be understanding the next option called as how we can merge the two different repositories using UFT. So all we have to understand here is before we can merge different repositories which might have been created at two different point of times. But of course at the point where you think that now I'm making use of both the repositories and every time you need to call two different repositories then it's time to merge them. Subjected you can call them as one particular single set of objects in one repository. But of course before doing that activity you need to use the option called as comparison tool within the object repository manager which will help you to understand that what are the comparison results and different objects in both the repositories which will allow you to decide whether it is required to be merged or not. So let's begin with the understanding on the same. Uh, here all you need to do is get a fresh piece of uh, test in UFT, it can be also like if you are already in some other test, these options do not hamper that. So if you are already having a particular test open, you can still do that because UFT must be open for this activity. So beyond that, of course, uh, you know, you can be having a new test or maybe an existing that really doesn't matter here. All you have to do is come to the resources, click on object repository manager and to know and to more about understand more about what is comparison and how the comparison happens you can quickly jump to the previous tutorial or you can look the further description for the link to that particular video to watch it then once you're done with the comparison and you have decided to merge two different repositories then you can move to the next option here called as object repository merge tool and it would involve the same steps let's click, uh, click on that and see what exactly it is. So here we define the parent and the child which will be merged or superimposing on another repository. So here it can be any one of them but we always say that the one which have the more objects are called as the primary file and the one which should be merged to that existing repository is called as a secondary file. So that's the protocol but it does not make any changes subjected your repositories may have different set of objects in both the files then of course both plays you know vital role and can we cannot really define that which is primary which is secondary so all we mean to say is if in case you know that if one of the repository have more number of objects and the other one has less number of objects and you want to merge the less one to the bigger one as a parent repository then the primary becomes the bigger one and the secondary becomes the new or smaller repository. So let's quickly go with this. All you have to do is browse the locations of the different repositories you would like to merge. So in my case, my first repository is the primary one and the secondary option is the my second repository and say open. Now once you have opened this, press OK and you would see that no conflicts found that means that there was no such things which were repeated or was having the same property with the same details or something so anyways they will give you a merge summary that four unique objects added from primary file four unique objects added from secondary file and six objects are identical in both the files so we have just superimposed them so basically it does not create a copy of the similar files or similar objects in case the both repository includes the same so finally it's been uh, merged now we really don't have to wonder about like where is the third file created no that was the point when we were talking about primary and secondary so now the secondary has been included in your primary file so to see all the objects finally merged together or to access it you just have to import your primary repository so we can just go ahead and maybe you know close this and just cross check do you want to save the changes of course yes we would like to change so if you want you can create it as a third repository say for example my final repository that's all we are done so now if you want you can just quickly come to the open and click the my final repository and you would see all the objects which are merged together
anyways team so this was from the understanding on how to merge and how to make changes to an existing uh, repository which you can include in terms of having two different repositories as well or two different repositories may have some of the objects in common but all we need to do is merge the two different tools and create a new file which will be included is inclusive of both of them so anyways that was from this tutorial hope you have understood about merging the two different repositories and it was really interesting for you to explore more about uft so stay tuned in case you are not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe it will help you to get notified about the new videos being added on this series till then keep learning keep exploring keep practicing thanks for watching the video team take care happy learning